Number 17, in this figure over here, let the mass of the block be 8.5 kilograms. So let's write it down. The mass is equal to 8.5 kilograms. The angle is 30 degrees. Find letter A, the tension in the cord, and letter B, the normal force acting on the block. Letter C, if the cord is cut, find the magnitude of the resulting acceleration of the block. So this is a typical inclined plane problem. And the trick here is that you set your axis to be parallel and perpendicular to the plane. So let's call it this axis our x-axis and this our y-axis. Okay, so this is the trick for solving inclined plane problems. Now we have to draw the forces that act on the block. So we have first the gravitational force let's call it FG we have the force from the string which we will call only T and the normal force which is always perpendicular to the surface of contact and we will call it just N so those are the three forces that we have however the gravity over here it is not only in the x direction or the y direction so we have to decompose this force over here we will decompose it to a y direction y component so we, i will call it fgy in the, in the next component this one that i will call it fgx and another trick is that this angle over here is exactly the same as this angle over here so we can find FGY as FG times the cosine of the angle and FGX is equal to FG times the sine of the angle. So we have, have made the decomposition of force FG and we were ready to go. We just have to write the Newton's second law for the x-coordinate and y-coordinate. So let's start with the x-coordinate. And in the x-direction, the forces that we have are Fgx, Fgx. And we also have the tension. However, the tension is pointing to the negative direction of x. So you have to use the negative sign over here and this is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction however we know that in this case the acceleration is zero because the cord is holding the mass over here uh, but let's let's keep it as ax uh, for now in the y direction we have the normal force which is in the positive y direction and we have FGY. However, FGY is pointing downwards, so it is negative. FGY. And this is equal to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. So those are the two equations that we have. In those two equations will give us everything that we need. So let's go for letter A. We want to find the tension in the cord. So we want to find this t over here and we know that ax is equal to zero so fgx minus t equal to zero so t is equal to fgx which is fgx is fg times sine of the angle and fg is mass times gravity so t is equal to m times g times sine of 30 and this is equal to 8.5 times 9.8 times the sine of 30 which is a half right so if you do this calculation over here you would find 42 newtons so this is the answer of letter a for letter b we have to find the normal force so we are going to use this equation over here and the acceleration in the y direction is zero as well so n is equal to fgy which is m times g 
times the cosine of 30 degrees and this will give us 72 newtons so this is the answer of letter b for letter c we cannot assume anymore that ax is equal to zero because when we we cut this cord over here the block will start going downwards however when we do that t is zero so we have that f gx is equal to m m times ax so ax is equal to f g x over m which is equal to m times g times sine of 30 degrees over m we can cross out the masses and then we get the tree is equal to 4.9 meters per square second so this is the acceleration of the block if the court is cut